from getting booed to get off the stage during a live Netflix event in front of thousands of people, to editing out the unhappy fans that were yelling at her, and having people hate her for wearing a corset so tight that she could barely breathe, it seems like the general public has finally decided to turn on Kim Kardashian. Now all aboard the Kim Kardashian hate train, because the year isn't even halfway over and there's a lot that needs to be covered. Now, as a Swifty, I've been waiting for Kim Kardashian to get her karma, and it appears that she's been getting it in the last couple of weeks. Let's start by talking about her segment of Tom Brady's Roast. The Roast, which aired live on the streaming service Netflix on May 5th from the Kia Forum in Los Angeles, is now missing some notable footage from when Kim first took the spotlight. Live viewers couldn't miss the crowd's boos after host Kevin Hart introduced her, but the version currently available on Netflix, Kim is greeted exclusively by applause. For a very special toast, right, this toast has come from somebody worthy of a moment as such, a special friend and a special lady, Kim Kardashian, Kevin said. As Kim makes her way to the stage, the audience's only audible reaction is applause, as it was in the original broadcast. Thank you so much, Kevin, she says in the edited version, as she then makes a joke about his height. But that's not what happened in real life. In the live broadcast, when Kim made an earlier attempt to deliver that first joke, it was interrupted by significant boo from the crowd following the initial applause. After saying, I know a lot of people make fun of your height, she looked away from the teleprompter with irritation. All right, all right, she said, as Kevin chimed in saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Now on Netflix, the roast includes a message that says, edited from a previous live stream, but why would they take out the booing though? People who saw the stream live knew what happened and were already talking about it online. It wasn't a secret. And them editing it actually just made it an even bigger deal. Also, why was Kim even invited to an event like that? Reps for Netflix and Kim did not immediately respond for comments, so we may never get the answer. No, it seems like Kim likes editing out things that make her look bad though. Cough, cough, the Taylor Swift and Kanye West phone call. But hey, that's none of my business. Then there was the controversy at the Met Gala. Now, is it really a Met Gala if Kim K doesn't stir up some controversy? No, I don't think so. And this year, she was clocked for two things. First was for unattainable beauty standards. Kim was wearing a silver John Galeo corset style dress that cinched her waist to an impossible degree. Like, it was so tiny, I don't know how she was even able to breathe. Now, one photographer shouted, your waist is crazy at her, and indeed it was. But throughout the night, she was looking distinctly uncomfortable. Now, the still shots from the evening may be glamorous, but the reality looks painful. Her waist had been pulled in so tight that her vital organs looked like they had been displaced. Like it wasn't normal or natural. Now she was actually having so much trouble moving that she needed assistance walking up the iconic gala steps. In a video posted to Vogue's YouTube channel, Kim revealed that breathing while wearing the look is an art form. But I got it, she said, as assistants tightened the corset behind her. I f I'll feel so snatched, I won't even be able to communicate to you how snatched I feel, she said breathlessly. Now, on social media, many fans were not impressed with Kim's trim waist. This extreme look sends all kind of wrong messaging, wrote one person on Twitter. Now, the look itself actually could have been dangerous. Depending on how much the waist is restricted, corsets can lead to difficulty breathing and fainting. In addition, compressing the organ in the abdomen can harm digestion and lead to the muscles in the back to atrophy. Now, long term corsetting can deform the rib cage. Then there was the cardigan with her look. She noted that her controversial cardigan, meant to evoke the idea of running out the door and grabbing her boyfriend's sweater, was intentional. It's like the real life me when I go to an event and I have to make it home by 6 a.m. to get carpool. Real life happens. But some fans suspect she wore it as a dig to Taylor Swift, as Taylor wrote a song blasting Kim on her most recent album. Not to mention the fact that Taylor sells cardigans as a piece of her merch. Not to mention that Taylor sells cardigans as a piece of her merch, and fans were quick to point out the similarities and make jokes. Now, so much has happened with Kim the last couple weeks, and we're not even halfway done the year. I'm sure there will be many, many more scandals in store for us.